Hi everyone and welcome to How to Network Presents Python. In this course we'll be going through the Microsoft certification named 98381. I'll show you the Microsoft page uh, later on in this video. So this is chapter 1 lesson 1 and I'm just going to introduce myself, I'm going to introduce a bit of what we'll be going through across the whole course and then we'll get right into it in the next few videos. So a little bit about me to start with. I'm Daniel. I've been using Python for almost a decade. I started with Python 2. In this module we'll be going through Python 3 and basically everything these days is Python 3. Um, there's only a few differences that you'll need to be aware of and I'll point these out to you as we go along in the course. So basically I've done scripts for large large companies um, in the UK so for example where we had to have two services talking to each other you know it's quite difficult a few years ago these days it's a little easier but a few years ago we just create a python script to talk to two apis and get them talking to each other also these days a lot of websites use uh, an api backend that is mostly done in you know backend languages like python so these days python's kind of coming up on on websites as well so what you'll learn in module 1 we'll just be going through some basic Python syntax. We'll be going through the differences between an integer, a string and some other variable types as well. We'll be going through assigning variables and constants. And we'll also be going through how to use the keywords is and in. And we'll be determining the sequence of operations and I'll, I'll show you what that means now on the Microsoft page. So as you can see here we have the Microsoft Exam 98381 and basically introduction to programming using Python. So if we go down here and you'll probably notice the familiar form. So that's the structure of the course right there and we'll be, we'll, we will be referring to this page a lot and at the start of each module I'll basically give you this and then at the end I'll say how we've gone through it. Okay, so what you'll need, we're going to go through this with Visual Studio Code, but you are free to use whatever IDE you like if you're more familiar with another, but it's best to get acquainted with Visual Studio Code because you're preparing for a Microsoft exam and they generally come at you from their own software. Although Python is IDE agnostic, you might, you, you know, you, you might get some questions that will just throw you off a little bit if you're not familiar with VS Code. You'll need Python of course and we'll just be using the latest one. So I'll show you now how we can get Python and VS Code. So as you can see here we just go to python.org and again we're in Windows. Um, Linux is a whole different thing. You're probably best following in Windows on this one as it's a Microsoft course. So basically you just you just go, come down here and go download latest Python, just click that. And it'll then give you the latest release, third maintenance release, yada yada yada. <laughs> and then we scroll down here and here are the files. So all you need to do is just download the executable installer here, save the file, and I don't know where my... Ah, we're in Firefox, that's why. There we go. And as you can see, it's downloading very, very slowly on my computer. So the other thing you're going to need is Visual Studio Code, which is right here. And you just go to code.visualstudio.com. And then we just download for Windows Stable Build. And that should just immediately start downloading. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. It does immediately start. It's just my computer. Okay, so because I've already got these just put them in your downloads, install VS Code uh, and then all you need to do to start VS Code is just open it like that and there we go and then you've just got to install Python from the um, from the download you did earlier as well as you can see we just install it here uh, it just does tell me to modify because I've already got it but for you guys just go through and install it normally and it'll be fine cancel that <laughs> Okay, so now we've got VS Code, there's one final thing that we need to get and it's just a Python extension. So basically you're down here to this little blocky thing with a block off and then you just search Python. And it's the first one because it's a Microsoft, as you can see, Python by Microsoft. 
So for you, there'll just be an install button here for me as a reload required. So yeah, and that's it. That's the Python module installed and Python installed and VS Code ready to go. Just to test, you can open a very quick folder. Hang on, just create a new folder in here. Select that. There we go. And then just create a file called test.py. And as you can see, it'll activate. Yes, <laughs> there we go. It'll activate the Python 3.8.2 down there as well. So when that's down there, it means everything's fine and everything's ready and running. So then if we just do the print, hello world, you know, just uh, as is tradition, we can start debugging that. And there we go, we get hello world out there. Okay, so the format of the rest of these videos. Generally, we'll have two or three theory lessons per module. Plus a review at the end of each module. We'll go through what I've taught and we'll go through what Microsoft wants me to teach. We'll have some practical lessons with VS Code as well. And helpful links and commands should be provided somewhere below the video. Feel free to just sit and watch through and refer to areas that you need later on. Okay, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in lesson two. Bye-bye.